What's up guys, welcome back to another bus build. Um, where we left off is I uh, got the solar panels to their designated spot, um, but it wasn't actually fitting properly. So I got uh, frustrated with it and uh, just wasn't having the best of time. So I had to uh, take a step back, you know, collect my thoughts, think about it a little bit and actually go back and fix it and actually get it good um, the way that I want it to and it's it's perfect. Um, so let me show you um, how I got it set up and how, actually how the mounting brackets work. Um, and then, um, as always, go from there. there they are all set up all in their uh, final glory um, I'm kind of pretty proud on how it turned out um, I wasn't sure if it was going to work but it seems to have done the trick um, and it looks nice it actually mounts perfectly or lines up perfectly in the center which I'm super happy about and um, let me show you actually how these things work all right guys sorry these are um these are a little dirty, but um, I wanted to show you how these brackets work. Um, so the solar panels are nice. They get the sun, but it needs to have an angle to get the best um, usage out of the solar panels. So what these brackets allow um, is for me to be able to lift it up this way or the other way, depending on where the bus is oriented. But I have two bolts on each, or one bolt on each side of this to where it has a something to pivot on and it won't move. And what that does, it allows me to, therefore, just lift it up. And I have these square tubings I was telling you about to where I can set those right in there. And now I have them angled up to where if the sun is on this side of the on this side of the bus, it's gonna get a lot and I can go almost straight up or completely down like you saw. Alright guys, now that I have the uh, the panels raised, <clears throat> it's really easy for me to access the cables and everything. If I need to do any maintenance, unplug them, put up a new one, whatever. Um, and it's just very convenient. Um, I really, really enjoy, uh, really like how it turned out. Um, because it was all in my head and I had some ideas from people online, but didn't know if it actually work work. And, um, like I said, I'm pretty stoked that it worked. But I can, like I said, I can angle it, angle this at any angle because I have all those different holes I can choose from to put um, those in and all it is here I'll show you too is just that angle iron or the square tubing I was telling you about and just a bolt and then I have wing nuts that go on the bolt to secure it um, when I'm not up here but all I have to do is just take it slide it in just like so and it holds it up. And like I said, I can put it in any other hole, I can put it in a long one, whatever. But if we want, we'll just put it in that one there. And it holds it up. And it's nice and sturdy and don't have to really worry about it too much. But yeah, I'm digging it. All right guys, and now when, when the, um, when I'm traveling or moving the bus in some form or fashion, I'm gonna just lay, I could just lay it back down or angle it at a different angle. But, um, but I'm gonna just show you, I'm gonna bring it down all the way. Just 
remove the one. Remove the second one. And then just lay it down. And just like that, it's ready for travel. And I can drive around and not have to worry about it. I can put two more bolts on each side of here so it won't move anywhere. But other than that, really pleased. All right, now that I showed you the panels and how they fold and how the brackets work, um, I wanted to show you how I have it wired up into my uh, charge uh, command center. So I have the wires coming down through the ceiling, through that hole that I showed you before. Those are going through the main ribs of the bus. Those go back through this um, panel back behind there where you can't see it. And then as it um, it goes down through this channel that I put the, the, uh, the plating back up so you don't see any more wires. But then it also, it come, they come out right here and you can't really see that either because it's so dark back here. But I have my positive one or my negative one coming through here and I have it on like a breaker switch. Um, so I can turn off the um, solar panels to the battery so I can work on them and then just flip that switch back and then it'll, res it'll continue to give power and that goes down and that goes into the um, these little terminals where it draws in the power and that's my Renogy um, charge controller and so right now it's charging uh, the panels and uh, let me see if I can back up <laughs> That's pretty much my whole setup right now. Um, and then also my power inverter on this side. And then also the batteries that are down there. Okay, now that I showed you my control uh, center, I wanted to show you the, um, the app that comes with it because it does have a Bluetooth module that I have connected to it. And it allows me to uh, view everything that's going on for my solar panels and my batteries from this app, which is pretty cool. Um, right now, I do have a 400 watt um, uh, panel set up, but right now it's only bringing in six watts, even though it's super sunny. The charge controller is smart enough to downgrade all the wattage because my batteries are 100% full and it's at a float charge so it doesn't need any extra power until I start using more excessive power. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn on uh, my power inverter and then you'll see it kind of go up. Do that and then watch the uh, if I can keep it in focus, watch the power uh, wattage and turn that on and then it should start going up because it's drawing more power, uh, power from the batteries. So it's going up to a specific point to where it needs to regulate that charge. So it's going up incrementally and figuring itself out and what it needs to do. But yeah, I have power now connected to everything. I can charge my phone. I plugged a fan up to everything and it all worked. So yeah, pretty stoked on it. All right, everyone. I got that all set up. Um, now I'm drawing power from the sun, which is pretty cool. Um, it took a lot of learning and a lot of YouTube videos to really figure out all that stuff and how it works. I'm pretty stoked on that. I was able to figure it out and do it, and it, um, I can charge my phone with the sun, which is pretty cool, um, and watch TV and do all those other things that you normally do in a house, but you kind of take it for granted because you're like, oh yeah, you just plug it in and it works. And you have such a better appreciation for power when you do something like this. I think if you do any type of like 
plumbing or building or anything like that, you have a better appreciation for that. But it's been a really cool learning experience. But I finally have uh, solar panels and I've all the wires set up and I have them all up dangling above me. Um, so next steps. Um, we uh, just started getting some snow and it's starting to get to that winter fall weather. So I may do the um, wood burning stove next. That way I can have it running while I'm in here in the winter and get some stuff done during the winter time. Or um, just start putting paneling up, putting cabinets and doing some finish work on um, getting this ready to be livable and the next steps. But um, as always, I wanna thank you guys for watching and tagging along and if you saw something you didn't like or you have something just please let me know down in the comments below um subscribe share with everyone that would probably hopefully benefit from my experience um if i did something wrong that way they cannot do what i did wrong um and we'll keep continuing on with this journey and um thanks for as always thanks for joining me on this journey but um I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here, and uh, we'll see you next time on the on the next big project. Thanks. See ya.